hi everyone welcome back to my channel dnr i hope you all are well so let's start today's video so today you have seen that what i was doing is i was using my pastel and motor in which i was grinding my coffee although it was fine but i needed it to be super fine powder to be in a form of mica so i can use it in resin so that's the reason i was doing it so after uh making it into a mica form now i am adding some resin into the container it's around 15 ml and you have seen that i have taken a little amount of coffee that i grinded so in another container small container i am taking 15 ml of resin and rest of the resin i will be adding to the mold so in total it was uh, 80 grams of resin so 40 grams of uh, resin and 40 grams of hardener and for and the reason that I'm taking for making this flower is a uh, craft reason and it's one to one low viscosity reason. So I have just mixed my reason and I have poured into the mold and after that I am mixing my colors now. Already I have added the reason into the uh, coffee cup. So I'm using my heat gun just to remove any bubbles that I have in my reason. And now I will be mixing the colors. So let's mix the color with the coffee in. So this is going to be a bit of transparent brown pigment. But we have to see if we can turn this into a flower. As you have seen that previously I have used paprika and turmeric. So everyone liked it so much. So I thought why not try more spices. And something that because it's autumn and we, have get, we are getting very cozy. So I wanted to make something related to it. So coffee came in my mind. So I thought, why not? I have few suggestions as well. So I will be trying them also. So just adding gold foil mixed with copper foil into the center of this resin flower. You can add any other beads or uh, glass pieces into your flower molds. It's really up to you. And after that, I will be mixing my white for this. I have taken casting craft and around five drops of casting craft into my 15 ml of resin. Sometimes it do get six drops or sometimes five drops. So they both work fine. So here I'm just mixing my resin. Just making sure that color has been mixed properly. So after this mixing of all colors, I did wait it for 20 minutes and I am now back after 20 minutes. So I have a little bit of resin left in my cup. So I decided to add a third color. Just there was little resin left. So I didn't want it to waste it. That's the reason. So this is an old coal by Resonate. Sadly, this company is closed and I love this color so much. I don't know when it will be finished, what I will be doing. But at the moment, I will be trying to work with this. So this is just going to be adding a hint. So after 20 minutes, we are ready to make the uh, flower. So this time, as you can see, my flower, uh, my resin is a bit on a runny side. It's after 20 minutes, but I will be making the flower anyways, because sometimes uh, I do pass the time and my flower don't blooms. So I will be doing it anyway after 20 minutes. So I will be doing the swirling technique and slowly I am adding the resin into the mold here as you can see and I am making, I'm making a very thick line. And just going all around. And there we go. I just removed it carefully because I don't want blobs. And now with the white, I will be doing the same thing. So starting off with the center, I will be going in the negative space. It will be overlapping a little bit, so that's not worry. It will add extra effect to the flower. So here we go again and I'm done. 
so you have noticed that in the center i can see the uh, my white is a bit on the thicker side so this was something a, a bit concerning for me but i left it like that we will be seeing how this will be turning out so now for the third color that's the old gold color and i will be just adding a little bit of here uh, that color here and there you will be seeing that what i'm doing here so i did mix this color very later on so my resin is on a bit thicker side so it's uh it's getting a bit problematic while i'm pouring it so I'm just pouring it in a very thin line, not too much. So doing the same thing, the swelling. And that's it. And now I will be making the petals and if you can see there are some blobs of white at different places so i will be taking my uh, pointy uh, tool you can use any pointy tool but just make sure that you don't touch the mold with that pointy tool because we don't want to damage our mold after that i will be making the petals and taking these blobs into the center you can see i was talking about that and at the moment i am not making any swirls because sometimes my swirls don't turn out great so when I'm doing this world, my petals move around, so they do, do disturb the design. So I'm just simply taking the petals inside. There are so many ways to make flowers you can make, you can make in any style you like. And here we go just like that I will be leaving it and see you next day so this is the next day and I can see my flower has bloomed in a very different way so I really don't know how it turned out so I had some raisin left over so I added into this mold or I made with the tiny crystals I will link it above here if you like to see how I made this mold so really currently I'm enjoying this mold a lot so I do pour my extra raisin into this mold so now let's see how the flower turned out. So here we go. Okay, I love it. I love it. The coffee, you can see the edges of the flower, uh, the dark brown. It's really amazing and it do worked. I'm so happy about it. Uh, I did get a little of one blob into the center here. That's it. But overall, I'm so happy how the flower turned out and this is a success. So now is the thing that i wanted to do is i wanted to do something different to the bag this time so this is a perlex a golden mica interference so i'm using this to the background of this flower here so this much i'm adding to the uh, resin so this time i'm not going for a black one The reason is being that is my coffee petals are already in brown color so if i add any dark background uh, it will be taking away the beauty of the flower so i need something a bit on the lighter note but again a color that do shines in between the petal so i hope you understand when it's finished i will be showing you what i was thinking So starting off, I will be adding the resin on the back of the coaster here. So a lot of time people do ask me that how I do the back coat. So this is the same as the top coat I do. This is the back coating. Uh, you can add the uh, uh, this resin, this layer while your coaster is in the mold if you're sure that that color will be complementing your flower. So that is a step that can be done easily but some of most of the time i need to see what background i need to place on my flowers so that's why i demold them so it's all done now and i will leave this to cure see you next day So let's see how this turned out. This is the next day. So 
so this is the result uh, i'm quite happy that it has enhanced the flower but please wait and watch when i do the top coat everything will be coming out as soon uh, but before that i wanted to see the crystals that i make uh, are suitable for this coaster so uh, i had a mixed feeling about that you do let me know in comments that uh, should i had to place them or not but after checking a uh, few designs few styles it was not working so i had to take them off because they were taking the beauty of the flower so here i have mixed my resin for the top coat and i will be just pouring it onto the coaster now And slowly I will be spreading the resin on all sides. So be careful you don't need your resin to be dripping. Uh, if you are doing a, a flood coat you need to uh, put a latex or a tape on the sides of the coaster and if you're using a latex you need to put it underneath your coaster and then you put something underneath your coaster also and then a flood coat. But I prefer to do this way. Another thing is that when you're doing a top coat, do uh, use a, a bit more of the resin, not just a very thin layer, because you need to level it all the way. After that, I do use heat gun if there are any bubbles, so in this way, I get a crystal clear top coat. So it's done now, I leave it to cure, see you next day and how it turned out. So this is the final look of the coffee flower and I'm so impressed that it did work and I'm just loving it. And I did use the coffee uh, on its own. I didn't add any white to it. So the coffee spreads itself and it created a beautiful flower pattern. So let me take it to the sun the, uh, as we have to see the golden color that's blooming in through the flower here. So this turned out lovely and I love how it bloomed. So this is actually how it's looking. I got a really good angle with the sun here. So it's beautiful. So I hope you liked it and if you did please do let me know in comments and also please like, subscribe and share. Thumbs up if you like the video and if you haven't subscribed please consider do so. I have a discount code available for crafters and in my description if you like to treat yourself. Take good care of yourself. Bye bye.